Hello and welcome to another in a series of Stuff I Bought at Auction. Guess what it is today? Well done, the accordion. Now you're looking at the picture from the auction catalogue. And if I blend it into what it is now, ta -da! you can see already that I've done some work on it. In fact, I've done as much work on it as I'm going to do. You can see I've repaired this key made a new one and I've cleaned this up a little bit to a certain extent I mean I paid 20 quid for it and I've already had my money's worth say 25 quid then with the auction fees and I've already had my money's worth out of it I've had a bit of a play with it and a mess about um, it was in fairly good condition it was just very mucky um, these straps oh, I guess are original but these should have a neck strap, I think. And this one is to hold it closed. But you can see it's broken. And the same on this side. Now this one's a bit more complete, but it's still broken. And I believe that the straps convert to this side in case you're left-handed or right-handed, however you want to play it. So there you go. And, I d and obviously these are normal piano notes but I don't know what these are they're not marked and I can't find a manual for them anywhere the only thing I would notice is that one the button is concave all the others are convex these are chords the outside ones are chords and these are bass notes I think but uh, if you want to learn you'll learn um, <clears throat> and I thought what about taking it to bits what do you do to about taking it to bits and get in because when I bought it it rattled some of the notes didn't work I think one or two of the notes here didn't work and one here didn't work and it rattled you could hear something in the falling about inside and I found out that to take it apart you pull these out and I'll show you if I'd have been prepared I'd have had these pliers already wouldn't I instead of having to fetch them but careful without marking it one see they're like little masonry nails Now in there, you can see the valves, you can see the valves for the base, and here, all of the reed blocks for this side. Now, I think two of these were loose, and I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a nail each end. And then this brown stuff you can see around it is beeswax. So all I did was put the block back in, made sure the nail was secure, and then I used a soldering iron to melt, remelt the beeswax to form the seal. Job done. Now actually one of these doesn't work very well. And it's that one. And I don't know which that one is. So, we'll whip this off. There, look. So it's that one there. So it's this one here. Well, that's because there's a bit missing. There's a bit of film missing off of there. Now I repaired one of them once. I wonder if I can do it again. Hmm. I'll try it. Right, look here then. These are the reed blocks. I'm assuming they're called reed blocks, but I don't know. 
and they are symmetrical. Not only that, they're the same upside down. Now, hang on, where's my pointer? Oh, there's my pointer. Look, oh, that's good, isn't it? Um, that's the reed made of metal fixed there. And this, I assume, like, well, this one, for instance, this is just a, a flap. And it's like uh, celluloid. Piece of celluloid. And I think that's a valve. That's to control the air. So that they work whether the air is coming through from the other side or going through from this side. Now you can see this bit's missing. Now I'm surprised I didn't see this before, so I'm glad I opened this up to make this video because otherwise I wouldn't have spotted it. And I've repaired one of these before, so I've got a bit of cellophane, so I'll cut a new piece and stick it on there. And uh, you can watch me if you like. You don't have to. I can do it on my own, it's all right. Now look at this. This is the missus's the missus's desk and her cutting board. But she's out visiting her mother, so I've nicked it. This is a piece of acetate that I was using. I've used before to repair these. And uh, this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to cut that down there and then stick it on. Now I'm using this scalpel so that it doesn't make a mess of the acetate. It's gone through. Yeah. Okay, I've got it propped up on a book, a book on aeronautical engineering if you're interested at all. This bit of uh, whatever it is that belongs to my missus, but I've propped it up. I've got the other piece there and I've got a tube of super glue. Oh, why do the Americans call this crazy glue? Probably because the Americans are crazy anyway. So I'll zoom in to give you a fighting chance of seeing something. Should be already focused. If not, you won't see a damn thing. Right, this is where you stick yourself to the thing. Little spot. There, there, there. Oh, a bit in there by that screw as well, I reckon. And that screw. Put the top on. Where's my thing? Here it is. Oops. And down we go. What's that? That should be it. Mended. Well, here we are then, ready to put it back together. Let's see what we can do. It's very cold and very windy. Not windy in here, but you might hear it outside. Because it is blowing a gale.
Well, that's it then for this video. I've enjoyed doing this, and in fact, I've got my eyes on another one that's coming up in auction. A nice Art Deco styly one. So, but this one, I think I'm going to give this one away. I'm going to give this to somebody who can make some music with it, and uh, well, hopefully they will, and perhaps get back to us. I've already bought a Bon Tempe HF203 keyboard, an old one from the 1980s, which will probably be the subject of another video. But the trouble is, it's over in Norfolk. I haven't fetched it yet, and can't because of this lockdown. So, uh, so there, do us a favour, give us a thumbs up, will you? It doesn't cost anything, and I understand it does something with YouTube algorithms. I don't know. And also, check out my channel and have a look at my book. Thanks for watching. OK, I'm now going to finish with an audition for a really good rock band. Let's see how it goes.